Yo, what's up, people? Um, here we are going to do. Well, I don't know. I'm coffee. Need coffee before I can speak. You know, you would think that after like talking for like three hours straight while making videos, that I would be coherent next time I try to talk. But I, I don't know. I just need caffeine. I think I might be addicted to caffeine. I'm definitely addicted to caffeine. Anyway, going to Western Union right now. Pick up my money. Finally, I'll have enough money. Hello. Finally, I have enough money to buy non grocery store food. Maybe some street food tonight. Maybe. Yeah, anyway, it's just nice to have cash. I'll be able to buy like a bottle of water. I think I'm gonna go to the gym now too. I, I just, I feel really good. I don't really see any reason not to, honestly. Um, all right, wish me luck. Hopefully, this will go well. What's up, people? Um, okay, wow, I know you're all so caught up in my entire life, and you're like, oh my god, how did the Western Union go? Did he get his money? Did he not get his money? Spoiler alert. Yeah, I did. Anyway, who cares about that? Um, I also had my coffee. I'm feeling deliriously happy now, as I normally do when I have my 3 p.m. cup of coffee, if I have my 3 p.m. cup of coffee. If I had my pre-workout 3 p.m. cup of coffee. Speaking of pre-workout, I ordered $100 worth of nootropics that are now stuck in customs, unfortunately. So it's kind of a mystery as to whether or not I will actually get them before like the 24th of August when I have to leave. So they've been stuck in customs for like 10 days already. I, I don't know if they'll still be stuck in customs by the time I leave. I hope not, but... I'm prepared for that eventuality. Anyway, gonna run to the gym now. I wasn't gonna work out today. I normally do every other day, but I felt really good today during the day. And so like I told myself I would go to the gym later, even though I normally go every other day. But then as I was out now getting my money from Western Union, I was like, oh, I kind of don't want to go anymore. But I already drank my coffee. So it's like, I don't want to waste the coffee that I drank like I already drank the coffee and I already basically like made part of a video that said I was gonna go. So not only would I be wasting the uh, coffee, but I would also be wasting the like five minutes of footage that I had already. And you know, I'm a Jew, we don't like to waste things. So yeah, I'm gonna start running to the gym now. Three-ish o'clock, we'll probably be done around six-ish. Tonight, not sure what our super awesome mukbang will be. But, I don't know, I have actual cash now, so I can go back to eating street food and spending less than $11 on food. I'm not really sure. I think I'll play it by ear. Although, I kind of enjoyed the being able to like eat actual food from grocery store. Although yesterday, I think I took it a little too far with the, um, all the like desserts, because I, I definitely paid for it. Uh, yeah, in unpleasant ways. Anyway, I'm gonna run now. It's also raining. We'll talk later. Ooh, what's up, what's up? Oh my God, done with the run. Gonna have some fun. Show you how it's done, TGIF. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. All, all these vlogs are the same. They're all the same. It's like, okay, everybody, here I am. Another day. Gonna walk down the street, talk to the camera. Uh, maybe go to the gym sometimes slight variations in what I eat. Um, I gotta mix it up a little bit, I think. I don't know, I, I feel like I need to. I think tomorrow, maybe what I'll do, because you know how I said earlier I had all those supplements that were supposed to be delivered that are like stuck in customs now. So I think tomorrow, because I'm almost out of creatine, that's like the important one. I could have bought that here, but I figured if I'm gonna order this shit anyway, I might as well order online and have everything shipped at once. Obviously, uh, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. So, I think that will be tomorrow's super exciting adventure. Going to a supplement shop in Bangkok. Wow. Maybe I'll walk around. We'll see some uh, something interesting. I'm not really sure. Anyway, gonna go grab a water. Gonna go work out a little bit. Probably could have taken today off. Now that I think about it. But then again, you know, you'd be surprised like how far you can actually push yourself. Like. I really just am reminded of David Goggins, you know, how he just pushes himself nonstop. Like, you know, I, 
I didn't really want to work out, but there I just ran like another fucking hour. About to go work out for another hour and then run for another hour after that. Would have been totally fine just not doing anything today. Just like sitting around doing nothing. Um, so yeah, definitely goes to show you like the power of the mind, human mind. Um, okay, gonna get some water and then, I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> One thing I've noticed about the Thais in Bangkok is that they're so much less friendly, so much more unfriendly than like the Thais, I don't know, anywhere else really, honestly. I mean, on the islands they're very nice, like Phuket. Like that was honestly, I, I got so lucky going there. Because I just kind of accidentally, and Phuket gets a lot of hate for like being very touristy and very commercial and just really a place where, where people go to get trashed and fucking spend money. <sighs> just really just get shitty, but um, the people there were so nice. Oh my god. All the Thais, like, smiling all the time, very friendly. Here in Bangkok, you know, whatever, people are people. You are going to find some people who are nicer than others. But, um, let's walk on the grass today, why not? Mix it up a bit, show you guys a couple different colors of Lumpini Park. Ooh, grass, whoa, amazing. You know, actually what I could do now that I think about it is I could do like a workout on the grass instead of going to the gym and lifting weights, I could do that. But the, the good thing about the gym is that there's other people there working out and that's just more motivating. Anyway, Phuket is awesome. And every time, you know, when I, for some reason I realized this when I, when I go for a run on the streets, a run and I kind of see the streets of Bangkok and I'm like, man, Bangkok kind of fucking sucks. Like, it just kind of sucks. I mean, maybe, maybe if you actually live here and you have a job and you're making money and you're in the like foreigner community, I guess, the, like uh, it's called expat community, probably pretty cool because from what I understand, there is a large expat community here. I think even I heard somewhere that Bangkok has more foreign workers. What is this? Gross. Uh, Bangkok has more foreign workers than any other city in the world or something. I'm not, I'm, don't quote me on that. I, I heard something similar to that. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I think that would be cool, but like, you know, if you're gonna get a job, if you're already gonna get a job, you might as well pick a place. You know, why would you pick Bangkok? It's disgusting. It's like actually gross here. Um, it's kind of like downtown LA, all, all, like a little bit. I don't know, whatever. I don't like anything, obviously. Definitely don't like downtown LA. Um, but I, 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 th I thought that Dude. I thought that I would talk about, I guess, more of the differences between um, Vietnam and Tel Aviv. Uh, because in the, in the last video, some people were like, oh, you should go to Tel Aviv because blah, blah, blah. And some people were like, oh, you should go to Vietnam because blah, blah, blah. Um, and I, I thought about that because, I mean, I thought about the fact that people are actually like giving me their opinion and their advice. I don't remember if I asked for it. I'm not, I'm not saying like, oh, I didn't ask for your opinion. Like, why are you giving it? That's not what I mean. Um, but I, I thought I might as well ask for your opinion. You know, I originally would have thought like, why would I ask for random people on the internet's opinion? But if you watch like all my videos, then you basically, I don't wanna say you know everything about me, but I think you know enough to like be able to suggest what I might like better, what might be a better choice, right? From like the outsiders, from an outsider's perspective. Maybe you don't know me as well as like whatever, my close friends and family, fine. But if you watch my videos, especially if you like watch all these like hour long fucking mukbangs where I literally just talk about myself the entire time, you probably have, I don't know, probably have like a pretty good idea of like what I might like better. Honestly, oh fuck, I don't wanna talk about it anymore. Anyway, I just wanted to make that point. Um, Vietnam is, Here's the deal with Vietnam, okay? Anybody who's spent a significant amount of time in Southeast Asia can tell you kind of the same thing, okay? Like, the only reason to go to Vietnam, like every, everything in Vietnam is worse than Thailand. Everything is worse. The people are worse, the food is worse, the traffic is worse, pollution is worse, everything is worse. Okay, there's, there's nothing in Vietnam that's better except the price, okay? It is super cheap over there. Um, everything is like, I don't know, I don't know if it's like half price or whatever, but, it's very cheap, much cheaper. So they also have good gyms. So it's, it's really three things, I guess, now that I think about it. 
the gyms over there, in my experience, they have very good gyms. I'm not gonna say they're better or worse, but they're, they're very good. Um, good energy, lots of people working out very hard, surprisingly. Uh, that's number one. Number two, the like mobile data internet is so cheap. Oh my gosh. I remember last time I was there, I, I, had, I paid in advance for like a data package and I paid, I paid in advance for two months including SIM card, including everything, I got four gigs of high-speed data per day, which means every day it would like reset and I get an additional four gigs, which is like a, a lot, that's a lot. Uh, and I paid $15 for two months. Yeah, $15 for two months. I paid in advance. Like, that's, is that not insane? That's like actually insane. Um, so those are actually, Ironically, three very important points for me. Number one, it's gotta be cheap. Well, currently at least. It's gotta be cheap. They have to have good internet. Um, and the gyms have to be good, you know? Everything else you can kind of just make do. Like the food, okay, I'm not crazy about the food. But I can get a banh mi. I can maybe find a butcher. I can get eggs, right? Unfriendly people, not crazy about that. Traffic is really shit. It's just kind of an ugly, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a fan of uh, Vietnam. Okay, anyway, time to work out. I can pick it up later. We'll ex my, the rest of my ther therapy session, slash mukbang. One of the cool things about this gym is the wildlife. What other gyms have cats? see everybody here like it's very wet and everyone's kind of like hiding well let's see can you see all right i don't know i'm so out of it i kind of want to leave but i don't want to run with my phone like exposed but there's like a covering right here so you can kind of see i'm also under a cover but anyway i'll probably be stuck here for like another 15 minutes maybe good times well this is what you get when you pay 20 baht to fucking work out is you run the risk of getting rained on. But this guy is hardcore, he's got an umbrella. Going hard, he's got the right idea. All right, so the rain finally over. Wow, my hair looks amazing. Um, yeah, the rain finally over. Don't have to deal with that bullshit anymore. Um, all right, my phone is being weird, I'm not sure why. I'm gonna go run back now, we'll talk later. So, I just finished my run. God, it was fucking took forever. Um, normally after my run, I will go to 7-Eleven and get like a, it's like an electrolyte drink or something, but I figured that today, since I'm trying to be slightly more healthy, I, you know, you always got to try and be more healthy, right? But anyway, the point is that they, they sell fresh juice over here. So I think I'll buy some juice. They have 100% orange juice. And they have some other shit too. So anyway, I'll just get one of those. I'm super thirsty right now. Super thirsty. And then I'm not, hello. I'm not really sure what I'll do for food. I think I'll just, I'm gonna think about it. I'm thinking, I don't know. I kind of like, the, the grocery store food was so good yesterday. I don't know, we'll see. I'll think about it. We'll see. Oh shit. Here we go again, walking down the street talking to myself or possibly millions of people someday it's kind of crazy to think about it. it's like what if someday my videos actually get like super popular and like so many people up here it's, it's like when it gets late it gets like traffic jam anyway what if someday they get super popular and like you know how it is when with like famous youtubers right people go back and they watch all their old videos so I'm hoping that I can create enough videos that I can like bury all of my shitty ones so that, oh my God, that people won't, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I'm good, I'm good. Uh, that people won't actually be able to watch all of my like really shitty videos. But honestly, like the way people binge watch YouTube, I'm sure there's people out there who will actually like watch everything. 
which is kind of crazy to think about. Kind of crazy. Like occasionally I'll get people who like send me a message and they're like, I'm obsessed with your videos. I've watched all, I binge watch your videos. It's like, damn, it's kind of crazy to think about that, you know? Um, any like pro tip for any of you out there thinking about making videos like, you know, and obviously like don't take my word for it. What the fuck do I know? Like bonus points. Oh shit. Sorry. Uh, bonus points if you're a hot girl. Number one, let's start there. If you're a hot girl, everything is going to be easy for, easier for you anyway. But you probably already know that because if you're a hot girl, your, your life is probably just easier in general. No offense. Um, be a hot girl, number one. Number two, talk about celebrities or YouTube celebrities even. And number three, do mukbangs. That's like, that's the name of the game right there. That's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, anyway, this is Khao San Road at night. You can see it's pretty much the same, just there's no sun. Um, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so let's... Um, I'm so hungry. Fuck, I can't even think straight. And there's like so much going on right now that I can't actually think straight. There's something in front of me is drawing my attention. I, well, I can't say it. You never know who speaks English here. Um, I'll just try and look at the camera and concentrate on whatever I was talking about before. Uh, yeah, food. Let's talk about food. Let's talk about food. Basically, I will probably, I will definitely take a look and see what food they have available. I think I'm going to check and see if they have any of that like pre-made food from yesterday. Probably gonna go with the liver again. No hearts. It's just kind of unnecessary at this point. Um, and then I don't know that like rice stuff or whatever. Like all that stuff I had yesterday it was so good. I definitely paid for it. Like in stomach discomfort, it was not worth it. And honestly, today I told myself I was like, all right, tomorrow I'm not gonna eat like that again. I'm gonna eat healthy tomorrow. Yet here I am going making the exact same mistakes again. But. No, I'll tell you what it is. Uh, since I started doing these like mukbangs like slightly more seriously, and I would say honestly in the past week or so, like overall average views of most of my videos have gone up. I'm not sure if, it, if that's because I'm, I'm posting less overall videos or if like one, one Greg Doucette video that I made went, I don't wanna say it went viral, but it got like 2,000 views in like a couple days. So I'm not sure if that is like feeding into everything else or if it's just like some random shit I don't know whatever anyway the point is that now I'm taking a little bit more care to um, like I, I want to make an interesting kind of mukbang you know like yeah I could get the fucking pork every single day and some corn and some mango I can do all that shit no problem it's probably the healthier choice to be honest with you but I figure I might as well sacrifice a little bit of my health to make a slightly more interesting video, right? Like, why not? Who cares? Like, worst comes to worst, I'll just fucking fast for two days, the weight will come off like that, and that's it. It's not really, like, affecting my athletic performance at all. I'm still doing the same workouts. I went to the gym, like, two days in a row now, which for me is, like, a fucking three-hour workout, you know? So, like, I must obviously be doing something right. I think it might be the liver, honestly. I, I obviously, like, can't base that on anything, but... Uh, I, I I don't know. That's kind of the only thing that I really changed that much. But you know, what else could it be? Like you eat like a super nutrient dense piece of food, and then all of a sudden you have like enough energy to fucking train super hard two days in a row. I mean, could it be something else? Maybe, possibly, but maybe it's not. You know. Anyway, funny story. Well, not actually funny, but like the other day when I when I watched the last. When I watched the last video that I made, God, gotta cut through here. Gotta cut through. Ah. When I wa when I watched the last video that I made, I like saw a bunch of people like waving to the camera, like as I was like going through Khao San Road. I didn't realize it at the time because it's, it's hard enough to like focus on actually what I'm doing right now, right? So many fucking people. It's just there's so much shit going on. So many like interesting things to look at. Yet, meanwhile, I have to fucking walk and talk and look at the camera and remain coherent and actually talk about something um, without getting distracted. So, like, I'm not going to notice some fucking random person, like, waving to the camera. It's only after I actually watch the video that I notice all these things. 
so yeah, very exciting. And I'll give you a little tip on how I actually am able to concentrate on what I'm saying, because this is, oh, so many people. Um, this is something that I learned, like I, I've mentioned this a few times, but I used to be really into NLP, right? Neuro Linguistic Programming, which is like just this kind of fancy way of saying the study, ah, it's like, I don't know, it's, it's like persuasion kind of, like very advanced persuasion techniques you could say, but not just persuading other people, also persuading yourself, right? Whatever, anyway, it's complicated. Anyway, one of the techniques that they talked about, this is actually from hypnosis, they talk about a technique called pacing current experience, right? Which is where you just kind of, like for example, if I was going to do it right now, I would say, okay, right now you guys are watching this video, you're listening to the sound of my voice, you're watching me walk through Khao San Road, and as you're listening to the sound of my voice and watching my hand kind of move around sometimes as I make a point, you're gonna notice that my shirt is blue. And right after you notice that my shirt is blue, you're gonna think a very interesting thought right now. And here's what that thought is. So, and then after you say, here's what that thought is, you can insert whatever message you want, right? And basically the point, I'm getting like really weird. Like anybody who actually watched this far, props to you for having lots of free time. Um, basically, what you do, you, you pace their current experience, right? I'm saying you're listening to the sound of my voice, you're looking at me, you're watching this video, blah, 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 and then I can insert whatever message I want. And then I can be like, oh, and by the way, that means that you really like my videos, right? That's not necessarily true that you really like my videos, but as I was talking, as I was pacing your experience, you're saying like, yep, okay, yeah, I am watching this video, I am listening to the sound of your voice. I did notice that your shirt was blue. So you just, it's called getting them on a yes train, right? Where they're like, yes, yes, yes. And then boom, you slip your little message in there. I do it sometimes in some of my videos. It's also very good to like use as a technique. Okay. Too many people. It's also good to use as a technique to kind of fill the space in between where you want to actually make your points, right? Anyway, someday, maybe for the like super nerds out there, I'll make an actual video about how I'm able to fucking ramble on like non-stop about all kinds of shit. But in my experience, those videos generally don't do that well. Like I used to write articles about that kind of thing as well. And nobody actually fucking cared. They just, people just want to be entertained. They don't want to learn how to entertain. They just want to be entertained. Anyway, super fascinating. I know grocery store is right here and that means, yeah. Okay, what do we got right now? I see some, I see some food. I definitely see some food. We'll come back and get that in a second. Hmm, interesting. But first, do we have liver? Uh, maybe, is this liver? Huh. Huh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Does that look good, everybody? Yeah, I like you're gonna respond. Okay, anyway, and the fish. Oh, what's up, what's up? Look at this gigantic food. Gigantic food, gigantic box. Gigantic bag of food. Um, apparently, if you go there, it's like, you know how at the mall, where if you, if you wait till like before they close, they'll like sell the sushi like half price. So at this place, they basically have like buy one, get one. I didn't know this, but buy one, get one at um, like an hour before they close. So I might have gone a little crazy with the food. A little crazy. A little crazy. Yeah. But as always, the first thing we're going to eat it's not this, is the liver. Because I figure like, all right, first of all, I might, I might get a little fat in the next couple days. Like, I might, I might gain a little weight. It might happen. Um, I'm doing it for the channel. It's a sacrifice that I'll make on my way to fame. Um, because I'm not gonna lie, I just wanna eat this fucking food. Uh, it's just fun. Like, I'm like a kid in a candy store at this point. Um, because, like, I just get to eat all this food. Oh my god, I'm like actually not getting paid to do this, but sort of, kind of, well, not actually really at all. Like, I could eat whatever I wanted, it probably wouldn't matter. But 
I'm just gonna eat it, okay? So first up, we have Zilibel. I'm gonna try and eat all of this this time. I'm gonna try. Yeah. And I'm going to eat some garlic, raw garlic, for my immune system. Oh, God. My room smells so bad. Which of you ladies out there, most of my viewers are ladies, which of you ladies would like to apply to be my housekeeper? <laughs> I was going to say girlfriend, but it's like the same thing, right? Um, no, I'm, I'm kind of joking, but, but not, I mean, I'm, I'm definitely joking. Um, I'm joking. I will say, though, in times where I've been in a relationship, my um, living quarters have been much cleaner. Oh my god, like, by a lot. Um, does that mean that it's good to have a girlfriend? Eh. There's definitely advantages. I feel like, I feel like stuff like that, like, it's, it's good to have it. It's good to go through periods where you have one versus periods where you don't. Like, I don't understand these people who, like, always have a girlfriend, always have a boyfriend. Like, how, how, how do you not take any time off, you know? Like, it's, it's so much work to be with somebody. Fuck, man. On that note, let's eat some of this. Yeah. Ugh, fuck. Delicious. Ugh. There's gotta be a better way to get this down. I think someday, when I have like somewhere to live that's not like a guest house somewhere, I'm gonna buy a blender. I'm just gonna put this shit in the fucking blender. I'm just gonna like drink it really fast or eat it with a spoon or something. I don't really know. I mean, I know it's disgusting. I don't eat it for the taste. I, I like liver. I like the taste of liver if it's cooked. <laughs> I've had good chicken livers before that were raw. I have. Um, when I was in Phuket, they had really good chicken livers. They were darker than this and smaller than this, but they were amazing. They were really good. This is just not, they had like a more rich flavor. But I, <clears throat> I'm not sure if the amount of energy that I had today was because I ate, I've been eating like this liver. Like I think also the garlic has a lot to do with it as well. I think eating the raw garlic, I think that's very, very good for your immune system. And it's something that people don't really like, nobody really knows that because who eats raw garlic? And eating raw garlic is different than cooked garlic, by the way. Ugh. Done. Okay. Now, let's move on to the fun stuff. Hmm. What the fuck is this? <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna get fat, for sure. I mean, not fat, but like... I might gain a couple pounds. It might happen. Um, let's eat this first. This looks like it has protein. Yo, If anybody wants to... I think this is noodles with chicken. But the cool thing about this is that like all these, all this food has like little like sauce packets included and it's like just a pre-made Thai dish. So I technically am able to try all this Thai food that surprisingly, despite the fact that I've been in and out of Thailand for like years, haven't eaten very much Thai food at all. Like really very rare that I eat Thai food here. Um, because what I've been eating, I just basically like have been on this meat kick for a very long time. When I was in Phuket, I would get a fucking kebab like every night. Um, or I would go to like the store and just get fucking meat. You would never get Thai food because Thai food to me is just a bunch of noodles. But now, 
now that I am a no longer just a professional mukbang reviewer, I think this is sugar. So like the way they do it in Thailand is they, they'll give you like a packet of sugar and a packet of like really spicy stuff. And I think the spicy stuff is supposed to balance out the sugar, or, or the sugar is supposed to balance out the spicy stuff, something like that. So I'm just going to eat this like this, because I'm assuming that's how Thai people do it. It's probably too much sugar. <laughs> this is a mess. What am I doing? This is, this is no longer a health channel. This is now a food channel for food addicts. <laughs> what, have, what have I become? <laughs> what have you guys done to me? Oh well, fuck it. Do what you gotta do, right? Gotta sell your soul to make that money. Get those views. Although, honestly, if I really wanted to sell my soul to get views, I, I wouldn't do this. I would do something way more clickbait delicious. There's a lot of chicken in here. I think. Yeah, a lot of chicken. Damn. Damn. Let's see how this is. Yeah, it's alright. Not bad. Fortunately. I have this deliciousness. I wonder, actually, now that I think about it, I wonder if the fact that I've only been really able to work out once every other day is because I've been eating so much meat. Maybe that also has something to do with it kind of the problem when you change too many things at once. You know, you don't know what's leading to the to the, new, the different result. So, whatever. I'll just change a bunch of stuff. Maybe I'll reintroduce something. But, So yeah, like, in terms of having a girlfriend, I don't know, there's definitely advantages for sure, but every relationship I've been in just goes bad, they just go bad after a while, you know, you get stuck in them for too long, and it's hard to leave. So you kind of like, after a while, you don't really want to get in them anymore. Is that just cope? Am I coping? I really don't understand these people who get married. It's like a permanent relationship. It's so hard to get out of that. Like respect to people who do that, good for you, but I can't even imagine doing that. I just can't. And like, you know, I, I will say this, it's good to be Jewish, right? Because if I actually want to get married, there's so many Jewish girls who are dying to get married. Like religious Jewish girls. I don't want to say they'll marry anybody. Because they won't, obviously, but. Yeah, it's not hard to find a wife <clears throat> if you're Jewish, in my opinion. I know some people struggle, but I don't know. Uh, you have to be prepared to like lead a semi-religious lifestyle. It's a fucking pigtail. But if you're ready to make that sacrifice, you have your pick, you know? I could marry, I, you know, I'm fucking 35 years old. I'm going to be 36 in a few months. But if I wanted to, I could go find some fucking 21-year-old 20, 20 girl and fucking marry her. If I really wanted to. You know? Not hard. They cook. They clean. Plus, there's this like sect of Judaism called Chabad. Very nice people. Their whole thing is like, they want to kind of bridge the gap between 
the secular and religious Jews. Right? Like, I have this, I'm just going to talk about fucking Jewish shit, like, forever. This is another Jewish channel. Let's see, what should I eat next? Let's try this one. Actually, I want to try this. I don't know what this is. These look like, it's like some kind of fucking squid or something. I have no idea. I think it's like seaweed. Here you go, which might be interesting for you. What the fuck is that? Uh, excuse me. Um, just, what is this? Okay. That's interesting. I guess you're supposed to dip it in the sauce. Anyway, Chabad. Whew. Thai people got some crazy food, man. Um, <clears throat> Chabad is basically all right. So you have a lot of like the Jewish world is kind of split. Okay, you have basically religious, non-religious, and then within the religious world, you have lots of different like types of religious, right? Kind of like Christian, but. A little bit more um, fractionated, is that a word? So, you have like um, Haredi, like black hat, black jacket. Those are like super religious people. And most of them are like super hardcore and, and not, not really so welcoming to um, non-religious people. It's kind of, it's kind of the, sh the, I guess what they're known for or just their attitude. But Chabad is the one exception. They're very welcoming. Um, like, so welcoming, it's almost like mentally unbalanced how welcoming they are. They just like want to involve secular Jews in any sort of religious activity, right? Their whole thing is like, this thing called uh, tefillin, right? To put on tefillin or tefillin. Which, like, if you guys have seen it, maybe you've seen, like, it's like a, a black, a black leather, like, strap that they wrap around their arm, like, 20 times, or 13 times, I think. It's got a little box on it. Sometimes they put the box on their head. Whatever, it's complicated. I don't really understand it, to be honest with you, but you're supposed to put that on and then do, like, your prayers. You're supposed to do it three times a day. Um... You see these guys a lot in Israel where they'll like stand on the street, like actually on the street, and they'll be like, in Hebrew, they'll be like, hey, did you put on tefillin today? Just like randomly stop people. And you're like, no. And they're like, well, why don't you go over and put it on? I'll teach you how to do it. And you're like, I'll help you do it. They don't want any money. They don't want anything. They actually just are there trying to stop you so you fucking put this shit on. And they, they tell you to do the prayer. They like teach you how to do it. They teach you, teach you like word for word what to say. Stuff like that, which, it sounds weird, doesn't it? Like, why do you care so much that I fucking put this shit on and, like, say some words? But for them, like, makes their day. Like, actually makes their day. It's kind of insane. Um, to give you an idea, also, like, when I, when I talk about going to these meals, like these Shabbat dinners, a lot of them are put on by Shabbat. And they're free. So they'll like they'll they'll have these meals, you don't have to pay. So you don't have, there's no like entry fee or anything. Um, and you just like show up and there's food. It's insane. Um, and the, the purpose is like they just wanna like they just wanna bring people together, you know? And they'll like they'll have the meal and they'll do like a little um, a portion or something. Uh, my, my phone is like falling off the wall. I'm sorry. It's like crooked, but they'll do like a little Torah portion. Oh, this is egg, by the way. It's like a, I don't know. I just bought it. It was like a dollar for two of these. So it's like, fuck it. Might as well get some egg in there. It's like an omelet with some 
green shit in there? Oh. I don't know. Um. Ew. Ooh, that's actually not bad. It's kind of garlicky. Um. Yeah, they just like have all this shit for fucking fuck for people. Let's clean my room. Anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. Chabad. Oh, right. <laughs> hmm. And these people all have like eight kids. Like the idea, you're supposed to have as many kids as you can. Basically. Like actually as many kids. Like a lot of them have like eight, nine, ten kids. It's kind of insane. When I was in Israel last year, I went with a friend of mine. We went to Jerusalem to like go to a meal. There's a um, there's some guy who will like help people find meals if they come to Jerusalem for on Shabbat and like don't have anywhere to go. You go to this place like you guys have heard of the Western Wall or the Wailing Wall or whatever in Jerusalem. You go there. And like you can see this guy and he's like there's always like a crowd of people around him and he'll ask you he'll be like how many how many people are you with you know he'll like kind of size you up and then decide where to send you so i went there with a friend of mine and he sent us like deep into fucking jerusalem like super deep like so deep that like nobody goes there right it's like only religious people that go there and i think i don't know i think i think you could tell we had kind of like you know, it's like a total scene, like, you know, go to meet girls, whatever. And I think he could, like, he didn't like our smell, you know what I mean? So he, like, he's like, oh, I'll show these guys. Like, they think they're going to come and, like, corrupt our, like, sweet little religious girls. Like, uh-uh, I'm sending them deep into fucking religious Jew territory. So he, he set us up with this guy. I don't even know, like, what, like, neighborhood this was called. But it was kind of cool, because like, in, in Israel, the, the weekend is like Friday, Friday night to Saturday night, okay? People go to work on Sunday. Sunday over there is like our Monday. But for religious people, they, they don't do any work. They don't do any work from Friday night to Saturday night. So when you go to these neighborhoods and, and work, quote unquote, is considered things like driving a car is work, right? Like turning on the light in your house is work. All right, I, I gotta fix my phone. It's like getting a little weird. <sighs> I'm sorry. I might edit this. I might actually edit it. I also might not. We'll see. We will see. <sighs> All right. Oh. <sighs> anyway, he sent us to this fucking place. I don't even know what it's called. Oh, God damn it. He sent us to this place, deep in the fucking heart of Jerusalem, and <clears throat> we know there's not gonna be any girls there. Like, we know, like, fucking, there's, there's no, like, young girls anywhere, like, in that entire neighborhood. They're gone. Um, this so anyway, we go, and we, like, we're, like, eating dinner at this guy's house. <laughs> this is so funny. We're eating dinner at this guy's house, and um, he's got, like, he, he wouldn't tell me how many kids he has. Like I asked him, just to make conversation at the table. Or I, I didn't ask him, I asked one of his kids. I was like, oh, you know, how many brothers and sisters do you have? 
And she looks at her dad and she's like, should I, should I tell him? And he's like, no, don't do it. Because apparently, I didn't know this, but apparently in, in Judaism, it's bad, it's like bad luck to ask somebody how many kids they have, right? Because like, if you say that, I guess the, the idea is like, if you say that, you're like jinxing yourself. I had no idea. I didn't know this. I wasn't like trying to be rude and fucking like set her up to like say something bad. But he basically like he told her essentially like because there's this whole idea of like when when religious people are talking to secular people, it's like should I? Sh they they kind of break the rules sometimes to avoid awkward situations, right? The, the classic example is like fuck. I can't open this. The classic example is, you know, men and women are not supposed to touch, right? There's, it's, you're, you're actually, they're, they're not supposed to touch, like straight up. It's called shomer negia, right? It means like, whatever, it just means basically you're not supposed to touch each other. Um, but sometimes if like the, if, if the wife or something is um, meeting new people, like let's say people meet, whatever, people who are not Jewish or even Jewish but secular and, and don't know that, they'll do the polite thing and, and go to shake hands, right? So sometimes um, they'll shake hands, right? Sometimes they'll just do it because like it's awkward, it's weird, it's like saying no or like sorry I can't, like requires explanation. So sometimes they just do it. But sometimes they don't, right? Sometimes like they'll just be like, oh sorry, like I can't, like and then, like, you have to explain why, whatever, it's kind of weird. Um, so that's that's kind of, like, what was happening when I asked uh, this girl. Oh, by the way, this is, like, rice with some fucking egg or something. Honestly, I'm kind of wondering if, like, maybe if I, if I can train every day, if I just eat a fucking shitload of carbs like this, that actually might even be better for me because I'm running so much. Might be good. Anyway, um... So this guy wouldn't like tell me, like he wouldn't let his daughter say how many kids, how many brothers and sisters he had. So I was like, okay, fine, right? I and um, like later on in the dinner, right? He had like I don't know, like five kids there, right? Later on in the dinner, um, one of like the littlest, the littlest kid was like maybe like four years old. Um, they were like all, everyone was like talking, and like she was like the littlest kid was talking to her sister. And um, the sister was like, hey, everyone, guess what? It's fucking Sarah's birthday today. And the dad was like, and the mom, too, were like, really? It's your birthday? Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> I didn't even know like it was her birthday because they're just, I don't know. If, if you're like a Western person, you know, you, that probably sounds like, oh, they're bad parents. It's like abuse. Like, but it's, what the fuck is this, Nato? It's just different mentality over there. I don't think they celebrate their birthdays like, you know, American people celebrate their birthday. In America, like, your birthday is this fucking big thing. You celebrate for, like, a week. You know, you go out, you party. These people don't party. There's no fucking partying, like, with what they do. Mm, that's not true. There are some holidays where you do party. Like, I'm proving. It's like a costume party. Everybody dresses up, and you're actually required to drink four cups of wine. Wait. I think you're required to get drunk. I'm not sure if it's four cups of wine. Maybe that's another holiday. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, man, it's good to be Jewish. I gotta say, I definitely lucked out. <laughs> good thing I was born, like, 50 years after all of that other stuff. Probably wouldn't have said that if it was like, you know, 1930s. What is this? Whatever. I kind of wonder if I should try that. If I should try it. Not, not like this is so unhealthy. Rice, noodles, fucking liver, some egg. It's not so bad, right? It's definitely not as healthy as what I normally eat. But I wonder if I like sacrifice a little bit of the quality of the healthiness, let's say. 
up the carbs a little bit, if that will actually give me enough energy to go to the gym like every day. Because it should, if I think about it. Like all these like Muay Thai guys, they train fucking six days a week, twice a day. They had a shitload of rice, you know? They're not eating fucking meat for every meal because they have to like, well, it's too expensive, first of all. But I guess they need the rice for energy. Yeah, I honestly can't decide like where I should go. When my visa's up. I just don't know. You know, I don't want to get a job. Which I will have to. I mean, I won't have to. I could go for a month and just not get a job and fucking blow all my money. What's the point of that? What am I gonna do after that? You know. But I'm gonna go now and get a job. I don't know. Whatever. I'm gonna talk about it. You ever get stuck in like a one of those like thought loops? Where you're like, well, I want to do this, but if I do this, and I can't do that. But then, if I don't do this, then I have to do this other thing. But then if I do this other thing, it just fucking goes around and around and around. Until you end up back at the same exact place. It's kind of annoying. I remember one time, it happened to me in LA. When I still live there. It was like, it was very bad. And I said to myself, I was like, all right, I was sick of it. It was like ruining my fucking life. I was like, all right, I'm gonna sit down on the couch. I'm not getting up until I make a decision. I'm thinking I'm gonna sit, be sitting there for like five hours, right? Or like the whole day, or like days, you know? I'm gonna die from starvation before I make a decision. But honestly, I sat down, I knew what I wanted to do within five minutes. I figured it out. So I think it's like, do I wanna eat this? It's not very good. I think I'll give this to somebody. All this food was $10, by the way. More red fish. I'll be eating these. Extra protein. I think a lot of the time when we have a problem, we don't actually want to solve the problem. You know, we, we prefer to have the problem. Because it's like familiar, you know? We see this a lot with like, I don't know, classic examples that I've seen lately. Eating disorder people, anorexic, bully man, fucking fat people, whatever. Maybe honestly any real health issue. I'm thinking vegetable police now. Who by the way hasn't made a video in like a week. I hope we're still alive. It's very greasy today. The smaller ones are better. But, look, in my mind, I know that I would like to solve this problem as far as like where I'm going to go in like two weeks, two and a half weeks. But I don't want to think about it. <laughs> but you wouldn't think that by how much I fucking talk about it. I don't know. I feel like just making the decision is hard, you know? It's like. Because neither choice is perfect. Neither choice is like really the, the ideal situation for me. So maybe I'm just avoiding that. 
I am avoiding that, can I say? I don't know. I'll probably just wait till the last minute, like always. I don't know. Honestly, I think I'll just go to Vietnam. I don't really want to. It's a shitty place. No offense, Vietnamese people. I think I have one guy who's like Vietnamese. No offense, dog. It's not a shitty place. I take that back. You know what I don't like about it? People are just so not friendly. Like, what's your problem? Why don't you just be nicer? It's so hard for you to be nice to, like, strangers. Oh my god, this is so salty. Fuck. These? I don't know what these are. Looks super healthy though. It's like weird looking like fucking cupcake thing. I don't even know what that is. I don't even know, but I'm about to eat it right now. I think I think those are peanuts in there. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what the fuck this is. Coconut cream. Oh my god, this better not be a fucking banana. I'm kind of scared this is a banana. Is that peanut? Is this potato? What the fuck is this? I don't know, I think it's a potato. Whatever, it's good. It's good. But yeah, like I don't know. I don't I don't want to um I don't want to get a job. <laughs> I hate how that sounds, you know? So just go get a fucking job, stop crying. But... I just hate having jobs. I always get fired. Only jobs I don't get fired from are sales jobs. This is like impossible to get fired from a sales job, are you kidding me? If you're like still selling, you're you're tolerated, like all your bullshit is tolerated. But all these other jobs were like they don't care really how hard you work. You just have to like not cause any problems and do like a basic shitty job. I don't know, I find those so boring. I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking about getting a job, right? So I've got, I'm signed up for these like job websites. So I get these notifications like, oh, you know, Facebook is hiring in Tel Aviv, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'll never get hired at Facebook. But, they have a ton of startups out there. <clears throat> All these like tech companies now. So there's lots of places that I could potentially work. I don't know, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I should probably try though, you know? Might be good. I still have that one deal that might go through. Can't count those chickens before they're hatched, though, you know? You never know what'll happen. Oh my god, so sweet.
Oh God. You know, honestly, eating all this food, this is, yesterday when I got all this food, it was so satisfying. It was like, oh my God, this is amazing. <clears throat> Today, not so much, honestly. It's like, kind of like grossed out by all this like, I'm just grossed out. The, the fish was gross, like, what did I even eat? Like, the noodles, I guess, were okay. But like, why am I eating all these fucking carbs? Now I'm like eating just like sugar fucking desserts. This is also like taro pudding, like kind of the one I had yesterday, but just not purple. Uh, I don't know, it's like a different kind of taro, I think. It's still good. Like, why am I eating this? <laughs> Instead of eating like real food. A bunch of rice and noodles with like a little bit of egg. That like fucking fried egg that I had. Ugh, gross. What am I doing to myself? Ugh. I'm like, ugh, it's so good. <laughs> I guess I understand all you like binge eaters out there. You're like crying, like, I hate this. Mm, it's so good. <laughs> I get it, people. I get it. it. Doesn't mean it's okay. It doesn't mean you're right. But I get it. You know, it's not it's not hard to understand. Ugh. I can't eat this. I wonder why it was so good yesterday. Fuck, my phone is falling again. Whatever. Why was it so good yesterday and it's not good at all today? I guess it serves me right for fucking Eating unhealthy food, is that possible? But this is, this is like, it's like oily, it's like greasy now. I wonder if my phone's gonna fall. Oh well. Oh God, let me eat this, gross. All right, I kinda wanna eat these. These were those really good things that I had yesterday. But I might save these. Might save them. I can't eat any of this other shit. I'm gonna go have some peanuts. Ugh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is a sign that I should stop eating this disgusting, unsatisfying, awful food. Thank you for watching my mukbang.